just accept it as fat because you know it's a fun, fat dumpy tranny. It must be verified true check mark. So he gets laughed at on social media. And then what happens after that? He's just been deep dicked by both the uh uh the United States Congress and a bunch of people on Twitter. So he comes out and he starts screaming that I'm a pedophile. Joshua Moon, the owner of the Kiwi Farms, admitted that he created a text-only board for pedophiles to post fantasies of raping young children. He also defends allowing the posting of cartoon child porn. Absolutely sickening. Full video here. And then he goes on to say, he, here he is defending the host of File Board on 16chan, which he ran. The board was dedicated to, for pedophiles to meet and post their fantasies. This is beyond reprehensible. So he's super angry at me, and he posts this um, Discord message from some tranny that says he had a whole website where he invited diddlers to discuss assaulting children in their fantasies. And then they spread all the other forums till the whole site was full of CP. He did the same shit on the HN, that's why he was fired. Literally, completely fucking made up. Um, I briefly ran 16chan after I parted ways with 8chan. I was, was removed from moderator on 8chan because um, I wanted Baphomet to dox a tranny that ran the fem board on 8chan. And that's true. There was some fucking tranny that ran the, the board for women on 8chan. And then after uh, Jim Watkins wanted me to stop working on Infinity Next in January, I opened 16chan. Someone created the file board and I made a post saying, if you want to talk about this, it has to be text only. Um, and it, uh, I, I laid out some other rules, but because I saw the board was created and I made a post saying, this is going to be the limitations on this board. Um, I had the first post. So people just lied and said that I created it. And this other shit is bullshit. Um, it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating that again, that th that's their go-to and it, it in inhibits me from being able to do the things that I want to like, I want to, I want to talk to people about the very serious problems that we have where, um, the internet is being pulled apart at, at its seams. And I cannot, because people will lie and say that I'm a pedophile, that my website is full of pedophiles. Anyone who hosts us is a pedophile. The family members of people who host us are pedophiles and it, it destroys their life. And it, it, it happens constantly. And it's because of people like this, because of people like Vordrak. And Vordrak in particular, Vordrak writes these horrific articles calling people like, um, in, in the United Kingdom even, to be pedophile sadists because they have forum accounts. And this is in the, the United Kingdom, which has the strongest, uh, some of the strongest anti-defamation criminal statutes in the Western world. And they permit him to do what he does. Because this is anarcho-tyranny. They permit Vordrek to do things that nobody else could get away with any, even a little bit because he is going after people that the government already does not like. And they choose to, exec to execute um, government privilege to not prosecute people who are doing what they want to. And that is really fucked up and really bad news um, for people who just want to exercise freedom of speech and host websites and post on websites without being molested by fucking psychopaths who should be put in jail. I mean, I, I, yeah, I have to be careful not to complain too loudly because it is people always say like I'm a hypocrite for denouncing. I, I, I mean, I've never encouraged, I've never ever on the forum encouraged people to lie. I've never encouraged people to harass people. And especially when it comes to like passerbys, like don't fuck with people's family. What, what, don't swat. And when they try to shut us down, they have no hold, no hold bar on what they do. They will do all of that. And they'll get away with it because nobody gives a fuck. I'm glad. I'm glad that these people are having a bad day because Ben Collins. Ben Collins was the one who wrote. He wrote he, this guy. He writes a um an article on the Kiwi Farms, on for NBC, one of the largest publications in the United States, and he says that the um the Kiwi Farms is synonymous with swatting. And. By synonymous with swatting, he means the, the press has put... Sorry, I pressed the, the space key. I'm sitting with my leg up. Um, the, the press has said that the Kiwi Farms is synonymous with swatting, so therefore it is. And uh, he has been fired for not maintaining journalistic standards. This was after... By the way, I mentioned... I think I mentioned on stream that he was the one who was caught donating to Keffels because Keffels read out like a donation. And then he read... Then he, his like cop-out was that... There's no way that I donated because I don't know how to use Twitch or some. It's really fucking stupid. Um, but then this was for. Oh, he, he. I think he was fired for doxing Elon's kids or something. 
because the uh, Elon hides his uh, planes transponder by wrapping it in, in false information with like a or with a like a code or something to figure out who the passengers on this plane are. And then this guy, uh, Ben Collins, was I think Ben Collins. Um, NBC News temporarily suspended tech reporter Ben Collins from NBC. According to two sources, the network told Collins that his criticism of Musk, which included mocking Musk's ignorance about the company's general counsel, was not editorially appropriate. Collins continued to tweet his reporting about, uh, about Twitter last night. Oh, he oh he linked to it. He linked to the guy who uh, the guy who was like on Mastodon on a Mastodon instance, trying to unwrap uh, the passengers on Elon's plane so he could track where his children were at any given time. So. He got fired from or let go. I'm sure he, he's fine. He's getting paid. He's his name is Ben Collins. I guarantee you that he is not hurting at all. It's a little bit butt hurt. Um, but this these these by the way were both drop Kiwi Farmers people, and then Taylor Lorenz was suspended from uh, Twitter at the same time. I think for the same thing for trying to link to the exact precise location GPS location of his children that were in transit, <laughs> and uh. That's also funny, because if you don't know, Taylor Lorenz went after Libs of TikTok, um, which is an account on Twitter, and all they fucking do, all that Libs of TikTok does is take crazy bullshit from TikTok and repost them on Twitter and says, wow, this is crazy. And because it highlights just how, especially how on TikTok, which is like its own bubble, it has a registration barrier. The content doesn't really share well outside of, of TikTok. So it's like a bubble where only people who are m mostly underage are on tick are being like propagating this LGBTQIP plus shit to each other. And all the TikTok did is break that bubble and bring that crazy bullshit out of TikTok and post it on Twitter. Taylor Renz finds lives at TikTok, finds out who she is, and then goes to the houses of her family to ask for statements about uh, her behavior and how she's like an anti-trans terrorist or some shit on Twitter. Like, just fucking imagine if someone from the forum did that, went to people's houses to ask for like quotes uh, for the Kiwi Farms about why they're they're whoever the fuck fucks dogs or whatever. Every single thing that these people have said about us, they actually do. Like, in, and worse. Uh, that's why I say you, got, you have to be ready to just tell these people to fuck off. Because they, they are the biggest bullies, and they crumple the fastest when it comes to any kind of pushback. Which is why they're trying to have Elon Musk arrested or some shit right now. Because now that they don't control everything absolutely on Twitter, they're, they're pissed off about it. And it's kind of disgusting.